Hi, I'm Amanda Davis coming to you from ThinkUp Studios. Now it's time to dive into the unit. And the first section you're going to find is the getting started section. In the next few videos, you're going to see that section broken up into different categories. Please continue to learn alongside us. As a teacher ourselves, we know all the work that goes into a great lesson. We want to ensure you're equipped with everything you need to prepare a successful unit for your students. In the teacher guide, every unit starts with the getting started section. This first thing we do in the section is clarify the teaks. It is important that you understand the focus teaks in the unit before we dive into the unit with your students. Not only do we clarify the teaks in the section, but we also provide you with a vertical alignment section. We state what information your students should be coming with from the previous grade level and what they should master by the time they leave you. At this point in our learning modules, I challenge you to look in the table of contents and find a concept that you will be covering with your students in the next week. Go to that unit and discover what skills your students should have mastered in the previous grade level. Knowing this alone will help you with your planning. All our writers for Think Up Math are former educators with years of experience in the classroom, and we want to pass our knowledge on to you. In the teacher edition, we provide you with common errors and misunderstandings that students often make while trying to master the standard. In math, we know that mistakes will happen, and those are great opportunities for students to grow and learn. We just want to give you a heads up on what to look out for so that you will be ready to turn that student mistake around into an opportunity. We also include some teacher-to-teacher -teacher tips. These are ideas and strategies that we've found useful when teaching students the concept. I know that we cannot physically be there to help you with every lesson, but we still want you to feel supported while planning. We want to take as much prep work off your plate as possible by providing you with all the information on how to help you get started. Now it is time for you to look through your teacher edition. Find a concept that has given you difficulty in the past. Go to the Getting Started section and explore what common errors and misunderstandings your students might be struggling with, and check out the Teacher to Teacher tips to get ideas on instructional strategies you might not have tried yet. We have clarified the teaks in the Teacher Edition, but how does it look like when a student masters that standard? We provided both the teacher and the students with the teaks learning targets. Many schools require teachers to post I will statements on the board for students during a lesson, and we have provided those for you in the student edition. It is important for both you and the students to understand what it looks like to master a standard. Again, we want to remove work off your plate and provide you with the information. Also, these targets are clearly laid out for the student at the beginning of every unit. Students can use this list of targets to evaluate how they are doing throughout the unit. Many teachers say that they like to revisit these targets throughout the unit and use it as a checklist for their students by having them highlight the targets that they feel they have mastered. Think Up Math includes assessments of prerequisite skills for grades 2 through 8. Each assessment covers prerequisite skills necessary for mastery of the unit standard. These pre-assessments provide teachers with a better foundation for planning unit instruction. The pre-assessments are not found in the student edition. Teachers can go to support.mentoringminds.com under the product support icon to review PDF versions of these tests. Or, if your campus purchased digital access, then teachers will be able to assign out pre-assessments within the online platform to their students. We also provide a beginning of the year diagnostic assessment tool exclusively in our online platform for grades one through eight. This tool allows teachers to assess student understanding of previous grade level standards at the beginning of the year to evaluate any learning gaps. This provides great data for the teacher, which will help drive future instruction. It is our mission to provide students with the opportunity to build their critical thinking skills. Our goal goes beyond just teaching students to master a standard or pass a test. We want them to develop these critical thinking skills that they can take with them beyond the classroom. If we teach our students to think up, then mastering a skill or passing a test will fall into place. 
Mentoring Minds materials are known for their level of rigor that helps prepare students for high stakes testing. Each unit has two identified critical thinking traits. These critical thinking traits support increased rigor and in turn raises student understanding. For example, look at this getting started page in level five, unit 11, Think Up Math, student edition. In this section, students are provided with a description of the trait that is associated with its identifiable trait icon. And through a questioning prompt, students are challenged to access prior knowledge or real life situations that correspond to the focus of the unit. One of the question prompts is as follows. You will create and use models for fraction addition and subtraction problems. How might you use this critical thinking trait strive when you represent problems? As this unit centers around adding and subtracting fractions with unequal denominators, this prompt guides students to recall prior knowledge and understanding of these ideas. Each unit offers this type of introductory thinking regarding unit concepts. As they reflect on the questioning prompts, their level of metacognition becomes evident. This opportunity to organize and reflect thoughts is an important tool that helps increase critical thinking. Other critical thinking opportunities are purposely placed throughout the unit, providing further opportunities for growth in this area. Thanks for learning with us today. Please follow us on social media at Mentoring Minds and visit mentoringminds.com to check out other Think Up Learning modules. Thank <music> you.